Hey there fam, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gloria, also known as Life with Glory B. If you are new here, welcome. So I'll be sharing with you how I created um, or recreated a jeans. Um, I got these jeans from, I think, Zara's and I decided to or put some drama to the jeans by adding some, some pleats. To the sides or like right along the edges of the jeans and you'll see in the cutaway what i'm talking about i actually did a reel recently where i showed this jeans and i got so many compliments so many questions it was a hit so i am inspired to do a few more um recreations especially in my denim pieces because i have a lot of denims that um jeans that i do not wear because I've kind of got bored with them. So I am trying to, you know, play around with them and add other material from other jeans to give them a different look. Um, what I do love about adding these pleats at the side is that it gives me more of a voluptuous shape, which I do not have. So I am going to probably be veering in that direction where I add some low oomph <laughs> to the size or the hips of my jeans so that I can create more or less an hourglass type of shape with those additions. So I have something else in mind. Um, I have two uh, additional styles in my head that I want to do. So as I started to um, recreate this jeans, I wasn't initially planning on showing you guys how I did it. but while like cutting out the um cutting up the old jeans that i was going to recreate and that jeans for the zipper had a had malfunctioned so i was going to either change the zipper or get rid of the jeans completely but the jeans was a little bit too snug in the waist for me so i said you know what it was not very expensive i've gotten it from asos it was probably about thirty dollars i said this would be the perfect jeans to use to up, um, upgrade or you know change this current jeans so all right, so in the cutaway, you will also see that I showed you a bag that I styled this with, and I also added the white shirt, which I just showed you guys, is buttoned down from London's Look, a black owned brand, beautiful lady. I paired the look with a gold pair of heels that I don't remember the name of the brand right now, but I'll put it on the screen for you, and a gold leather clutch. No, it's not the Bottega. I know that it looks just like the Bottega. I mean, no one can look at this and say, this is not the Bottega gold clutch. Now, I believe that that was a limited color. I saw um, Politics and Fashion. If you guys are not watching Politics and Fashion or you're not following her on Instagram, you are missing out big time. I get so much of my inspiration from her. Um, she is legit, such a great stylist. I mean, that may not be her title. Um, I think she was an attorney. I don't know if she's in, uh, practicing law anymore. But when it comes to fashion and style, sh <laughs> look. I often end up purchasing things that I've seen her with or something similar. And she had the gold Bottega clutch. Oh, loved it love 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 it's been more than a year that i saw her with this bag and then i recently saw and who does not know karen britchick if you haven't watched if you aren't watching karen britchick yeah that, that's another person that you should be following if you aren't already karen has a very like refreshing way of dressing and styling and she's very good at styling as well and i saw her with this same bag that she purchased on Etsy, and it's a leather bag. It's genuine leather, very good quality. Let me grab it. So you guys can have a closer look at it. Now, I have it stuffed with a few things because I don't like to see these bags looking flat. So it comes with like an extra hook where you can actually attach a crossbody strap in case you want to carry it like that. Opens very, very easily and it snaps. But on the inside, I have a few dust bags um, in here and that's what is keeping it opened. It's very very oversized um, You know clutch 
it can fit a ton of things if I want to. I can put an umbrella in there, I can put a sweater in here, I can put my wallet, my like I can put so many makeup. I absolutely adore it. I feel like I would like to get this in this smaller size from the seller. This came from a seller in Indonesia and the shipping, like when I got my first shipping, it took about, because she, she makes the bag. It's not, it's not like she has them all in, maybe she might have one in stock, but from my understanding, they're not ready made, they're made to order. And it took about, I think seven business days, I would say, before I got a notification that the bag was being shipped. And between the time that it was being shipped to the time I received it, it was about four to five days. And that was phenomenal to me. And I have this um, alert that comes up on my phone where anything that is being shipped to my address, I get notified immediately. Um, so it's an app on my phone. I'll put that up on my screen as well. It's a really good app. Anyone should have it. I tell you, if you are someone who gets things delivered to you regularly, because um, I don't hardly go out to shop, then you should get that. It's some kind of shipping app. So as long as they get a notification that you are getting something, whether it's USPS, UPS, Federal Express, DHL, it doesn't matter. They are going to get a notification because I've done some Young Express or something like that also uh, delivered the last bag that I had, this green bag by San Bono. They started the shipping and process and I got a notification on that app as well. I'm currently also wearing, well, let me come up closer so you guys can see. Maybe I can turn towards the light. All right, hopefully you guys can see me better now. When I'm looking in the viewfinder this close, everything is kind of like a blur. <laughs> not everything, but I can't see the details. I can see myself, but the details I do not see. So if I'm looking all crazy, <laughs> forgive me. But anyways, so um, I'm currently wearing some a simple makeup look and I wanted to let you guys know about it. I am currently working with Trini. Let me get Trini London. So I'll put up the I'll put up the name of the brand on the screen. Um, I'm currently wearing their. This is all I'm wearing on my face, and I'll tell you the exact products. First of all, this is the concealer. I love the concealer. Trini London did good. I like the products. They seem clean, and effortless, and easy to use. So it looks like that's what she uses throughout the branding of her products. All right. So I got the concealer, which. I used that's the only thing I used today I didn't use any foundation basically is what I'm saying so after I put my moisturizer on and whatnot I then went in and I I should probably have video I um, recorded that for you but I think I'll do that in the following video so basically I just put it in the areas that I needed it most which is like my darker spots under my eye and then my laugh line and that was it and then I have the bronzer which I used as my contour. Um, I love the color. I think it really works on my skin tone. So I use that to give myself a little contouring here and under the size of my cheeks and then up on the upper parts of my face. And then after that, I went in and I used the highlighter. Let me show you what that looks like. It's a little lighter than the bronzer and I put that in the apples of my cheeks. I love highlight. I love any highlighter. So I put a lot of that on my cheeks then around my, you know, the tip of my nose, up my nose bridge and my, just around my upper brow area. Other than that, I did, you know, clean up my brow a bit. I used my Benefits Cosmetics um, brow. Um, gel I think is what it is called I think that's the right name for it and then I put a little bit of pencil just to um, fill in any of the sparse areas of my brow then I for my eyes I simply use the bronzer again the darker one and I use that around the lid I use applied it with my fingers and um, my hair. I applied that with my fingers just dab some over my lid and I used a very small brush to put some under my lower lash line and I apply some mascara. 
um, I think I used my Lancome. What I also did was I used this, the darker bronzer, around the outer parts of my lips. So that ad was used similar to how I would use a lip pencil. But it wasn't dark enough, so I had to go in with my regular lip pencil and just overline it. But that was the outer color. And to get that pouty look, I used this in the center of my lips. And voila. Um, and so far, I really, really love the application. They're multi-functional. Um, I can use them for different things. And they're clean. I love how they smell. There's not like this funky smell. And the application is just like seamless. Love, love those. All right, um, I have one more brand to share with you before I start um, decorating my Christmas tree. We got our Christmas tree in, Jay and I, and um, we kind of like half started putting it up, but it was so much work and I was so tired last night, I could not continue with it. So we're now trying to add the decorations and there are lots lots of them so I had to go get my glasses because I want to read the information off of these products now KMG natural products are exactly what they say all natural but these products are absolutely amazing this with baby butter is for sensitive skin and it helps with um, brightening darker areas it can work on stretch marks and it also helps to moisturize your skin during these dry months obviously you can wear it during the summer and the warmer months as well I tried the body butter which I'll show you guys in a second but this one I was hyped extremely hyped about because she showed me a before and after photo of her daughter who has stretch marks and let me tell you there's a significant difference like I know stretch marks are like tearing stretching of the skin and it forms a scar and those scars on her skin are already looking so much lighter so not that there's something against having stretch marks like it's a natural part of a woman's body as we age or as we grow as her bodies change you can get stretch marks so don't think that I'm saying that there's such a bad thing about having stretch marks but if you can lighten the scars why not like seriously and for me I am all about supporting black um, black businesses and this is a woman who is working from her kitchen she showed me videos of how she mixes the products everything is all natural I mean come on it, the products have some amazing ingredients like aloe, shea, almond um, oil, co coconut oil. There's so many ingredients. I mean, once you started listing out the ingredients, I was like, this is a no-brainer. Like, this is the product I need. So I used it on my legs and my feet. Guys, I've not seen my feet look so good. My feet look like a baby's Yes! They look soft and moisturized. I definitely will try to insert photos or videos of that while I'm putting on the um, body butter. Not this one, the actual body butter, which I'll bring and show you in a second. So I have now the Simple Indulgence Body Butter. This is the first item that I tried. When I put this on my hands, I could not believe how... In fact, I have on some now. I had it on for a while. And my hands still look like really glossy and shiny. And I used it earlier this morning after I showered. And used the, you know, I used the bathroom. I used the... I washed up dishes and whatnot. And my skin still felt fairly moisturized of course I added some after but the fact that my skin wasn't feeling like super super dry <laughs> I love these I am slathering my body in these for the winter if you are suffering from dry skin definitely try check her out I'll link her Etsy shop below I think she has an Instagram page but 
she's not very um, active on Instagram, but her Etsy shop, you definitely should check it out. The products are very much worth the cost. I think on average it's about 20 and change for these. Um, each one has a different price, but what I'm saying is that it's around that price range. Before you go out and you purchase something from Sephora, Bath & Body, who else? Like all of those popular brands, please go check out KMG Naturals. Read the ingredients that are in her products versus the ingredients in these other brands that you will see on these popular sites and you make your educated decision on how you're going to spend your money. We all need to support each other. If you've been a part of my family for a while, you already know how I feel. This is, it's, I feel like it's my purpose to keep showcasing black entrepreneurs, black businesses. I really feel within my heart that if we don't support each other, we as black people will continue to be on the lower tier of the ladder. I mean, if we can spend hundreds of dollars on a bag or a pair of shoes from a luxury brand that already got theirs, and we would think hard to spend $20 of a black owned business. There, there has started to be a change within the black community after we were seeing all of the different injustices that were happening to us and that have not stopped happening to us, that have been happening to us for many, many years, many centuries and has continued to happen to us. And we are now standing up and lifting each other up. That's what we need to do. All right, I'm going to start with all of my spiel. <laughs> I'm not here to play politics, but the fact is we just need to support each other. That's it. If you're thinking about buying something that you know you can get from a black business, please, please think about it. And think about where you want to put your hard earned money. Is it going to someone who really is deserving of it and need it? Or is it just going to someone else who's gonna to continue to rise above us? All right, I think I'm done with that now. <laughs> Let me tell you a few of the ingredients that's in this product. Now, this is handcrafted, all natural, and you must store it in a cool place because it will melt. Its ingredients are mango butter, starts there, which means that's probably the main ingredient. Usually, the uh, ingredients are listed from the main one to the one that is the least. So, the mango butter, there's aloe vera extract, coconut oil, Almond, sweet almond oil, rosemary oil, tea tree oil, and vegetable glycerin. Everything here is natural. All right, so that's it for. She, I also have like the shea butter, ladies and gentlemen, because you guys need the lotion and, and, and moisturize too. I put this all over Jay's body, not this one, sorry. Jay also has the one that's made for men, the body butter for the men, and I all over his back, his shoulders, his arms, his leg. I slathered him with this this morning. You guys, we love feeling soft, supple skin too, okay? So if you're watching, please <laughs> grab one of these as well. Again, I will leave her link to the XC shop in my description, okay? All right, um, yeah, that's it. I'll be back, guys. Hopefully, I'll be decorating my tree next or I might be doing something else. Who knows? <laughs> All right, stay tuned. Hey fam, so I'm back. It's now after 5 p.m. I have my workout in about another two hours, six hours. Yeah, so it's just after five, so in about two hours, I'll be working out. So I wanna spend about an hour and a half or so, or less, to try to get this tree finished. I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. Do you guys do this? So I have my Netflix set up. I love to watch the 
Christmas movies and series. Some of them that are old, some are new, some are like I'll watch over every year. That's what I do. So this looks like a new one, it's called David and the Elves. So I'm gonna watch that um, on Netflix. By the way, in these bags are decorations. All of these bags have ornaments.
the name of the cancer is called multiple myeloma. Now, this is something that I have never heard of outside of seeing a commercial. Um, and I don't know if you guys even recall the commercial. It's a, it's a... Hey fam, so I am dressed. I will include a insert of what I have on. Um, but yeah, heading out, Juan is waiting for me. So we will take you guys up. Okay fam, so we have an appointment to where we're going and we look like we might be 10 minutes late or so. But Miss Hoy over here is always very punctual. She, listen, don't mess with her in time. She don't play. Time is money! Time is money! <laughs> and we're running a little late, so she's making sure she calls to let them know that we are running late. Good girl. That was dope. Yes, I absolutely love this. Yes, I saw it's so cute. <laughs> I want to take him home. Girl over here vlogging away, getting all the goodies. It is a 28, and look how small the 28 is. I think it's a ideal size though. It is, but people often think that that's large. Large. They want, they want it smaller than that, and that is. <laughs> It's the perfect size. Uh -huh. 28 probably in the Okay, Jay, I found what I want for Christmas. 
<laughs> it's like I just got your camera, okay? Let me take it back. Take the camera back. I don't need it. Hello. Interesting.
Making room in your jewelry box. Ready for a new bag. Oh my god. For one. Uh, wow. I would love to know what the price of this bag is. Look at it. Oh my god, that's crazy good. Oh my god. Alright, so you see. Up was over here in Rapture with Birkin, Chanel, everything. <laughs> Alligator. We're talking about rare. Well, no, crocodile. This is insanity. I bet that this is about $45,000. I was going to say, you, you're going to save more. That Kelly is insane. Wow. You know, we have the Birkin 35 and Trogo leather with gold hardware. Amazingness. Let's see if Kalan is right. <gasps> Twelve. Okay, did you see the price on this one? No, it wasn't there. Oh, how, how come you have the price on that one? Probably inside because it's such an exotic. This this is twice the price. Yo, that's crazy. Tell us about it. Another time. It's so beautiful. Look at the hardware. That's very unique. And then we have another vintage Kelly 28 with gold hardware. This is so cute. Teach me, hun. Because she's like 28, 35. I'm like, what? Mm-hmm. 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 M
bridge called again? It's the Ed Koch Bridge. Ed Koch Bridge. Formerly the Queensboro Bridge. Ooh. It connects Manhattan to Long Island City, Queens. Cool. Okay, yes, Long Island City. That's the one I was thinking that gives a, yeah. there's a, um, a tram or something that goes over. Mm -hmm. Lo Long Island City, think Queens Bridge. Home of Nas. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Let them know. Let them know. Yeah. Education right here. <laughs> <laughs> Pop culture and all that.